Hello, hello, it's your friend Double Bite. I'm here with my friend Runner for another episode of Pokemon Hazard. So we've been playing for about a half hour now. Um and nothing has happened, and I wasn't recording audio on my end. So it would have been just Runner talking, and while that would have been highly entertaining, and I might upload that anyway. Um Yeah. I've literally been doing nothing. <laughs> Just yeah, I've been I've been pre like haphazardly preparing things since I'm completely 100% unprepared for this. I just wanted to make sure we ran a session before the holidays to maintain a little bit of momentum, and uh, maybe my shame and not being prepared will help me motivate me for next time. Yeah. So I guess what's the what's a quick recap? Uh, okay, I've quick quick recap. JMP She is our main character. Amnesiac found a strange box that had a strange Pokeball. Um, I will pull up the strange Pokeball. This is the strange Pokeball inside a mysterious chest. Um, he walked from the beach to Havala Town, where he met Carol, an unfriendly baker, and Bob, a very nice person who works from home and has a strange son, and Professor Larch. Who is this gentleman on the left here? Um, Professor Larch explained that Team Hazard were the owners of said strange Pokeball, and that his nephew, Grant, has claimed that they've been causing trouble outside the town. Grant then came and fought you with a strange Pokemon, which you fought with your little guy here, uh, Cinderling. A Kinderling, rather. Kinderling. And, um, yeah, you beat Grant. He explained that Team Plasma showed up right after a strange blight hit the land that's causing Pokemon to fall sick and the nature to start withering and he believes Team Hazard is responsible even though they claim that they're here to cure the blight and heal sick Pokemon. Uh, now we've been talking to people this guy with the mustache is James Larch. He is Professor Larch's father. He used to be a gym leader and he, he, does, he does not have a map for you because i do not have a map for you oh <laughs> uh, who made who made these uh, awesome illustrations at the top there oh thank you that was my friend um nathan zebra toast art on twitter um i'll put a link in the description you should check him out he is very talented and a very nice person is that nathan spencer zebra toast yep i gave him a follower nice <laughs> it's really good yeah no hmm. he's um okay so since we started recording this over half hour i've been doing nothing i've been just yeah lying. we've been dicking around <laughs> did you actually want to go to the do you actually want to like pass by james larch and head out into the world uh i need to go get my pokemon see if oh, yeah. the professor is still awake or if he's awake yet uh so i had i had left my room from waking up and then i went downstairs Kindling was asleep, and the professor was asleep under a desk. Oh, yeah, Kindling followed you. As soon as you woke up, Kindling just followed you out. Oh, okay. It basically assumed that Kindling's following you at all times because Pokemon. Okay. And, this is this, uh, is, uh, this is Pokemon Silver, um, Soul Silver rules. Got it. Uh, the professor practices safe uh, PC habits. He locks his computer, so mm -hmm. I cannot claim my free potion. And he also yeah. sleeps under his desk, which is That's where That's apparently not a thing in this Hey You Pokemon game. You don't have you don't get a potion in the, the I don't think you did in a lot of the newer ones. Yeah. I know in like red and blue and yellow you did. Yeah. No, like no. You got a Pokeball or something in the like gold and silver. But yeah, I don't think you get anything in uh Pokemon Black. I don't remember pla um platinum. Okay, so screwing around, uh I'm gonna peek in. Is the professor still sleeping? Uh the professor is still under his desk. Okay. Well, you, I'm you, going to. You can choose to try to wake him up if you want, but. No, I. My impression is that he spent all night working on this like box thing. Yep. So, I'm gonna go talk to James Larch again. Okay, you go back up to James. I'm gonna say, well, um, your son is sleeping. I don't want to wake him. I think he was working all night on the strange box that we found on the beach mm -hmm. uh, when he wakes up could you let him know uh i said thank you i'm gonna keep moving forward i'm gonna collect as much data on the pokedex as i can sure thing okay i guess i better get going 
Alrighty. Have a so, good one, kid. Best of luck. Oh, oh, uh, I'm gonna offer him my largest of the two I have remaining. So I had given one. Uh, I had three coconuts at the start. Uh huh. Gave one to Bob. Yep. I gave one to Timmy to give to Bob. Yeah, you gave one to Timmy to give to Bob. You offered and one to Carol. Um, she, she took it too. So this is my it. last coconut. This is yeah, my last so you're gonna coconut. you're gonna give James your last coconut. Yep. It's very kind of you. Yep. I got no coconuts left. Oh, oh and coconuts. I also have a quest from Carol, right? She'll. Oh she'll yes. Forgive me. She'll forgive you if you bring four, not five. Five is out of the question. I stole your joke. Yes, I did. I stole your. No. I stole your fucking joke. How about them apples, Runner? How about well, them you apples? You know what? I said it last time, so you have the audio for that. So that the world will never see unless I feel like uploading it out of pure boredom. <laughs> okay, so I've got no coconuts now. Oh, I've also, th got... thing thing that y'all's missed from me watching the first recording. So I was trying to find the Pokemon on battle music which means that i was randomly clicking it and that would have been a recording so that would have been a recording but not my voice mm. so uh just a quick check here can you see if you're recording your audio yes i am definitely recording my audio this time <laughs> definitely recording this time okay all right so i will go on to uh i will make my way yandelo is my final destination yep I think Sisoa Town is on the way. Sisoa Town is on the way, and you have to go through Berry Grove. Berry Grove. So we are... We are... <laughs> took us three minutes to do what we did in half an hour. <laughs> so... That's, uh, that's pretty impressive, I would say. Alrighty, so let's, let's get this Pokemon adventure on the way. Cool. I guess what? What's that? So I don't... So I don't know how to make you go into this room, but this is the second room. Okay. Did you just move to the room? Um. No. Okay. Um. Do you see like the page toolbar? Uh, should be upper right side of roll twenty. Oh. Yes. All right. Click that and then go to root one. Nope. Sorry. No. Uh, it... I have I have a zoom in button. There's no little, like, uh, there should be, like, a little page, uh, like, a little, um, like, a new document-looking icon. Journal, jukebox, macros. There's the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be to the left of that panel. So it's, like, on the main window. It looks like three lines? No. It should be to the um, left of that. I just go up and down, and then I have a zoom bar. Hmm. How do I make you go to a new room? How do I do? Oh, I just I can just drag you to the new room. Oh, oh I'm I'm here in this new room. I did that first try. Okay, so there's a couple of things incorrect about this picture. Okay. Are you ready for the things that are incorrect about this picture? If I zoom in with my eyes, do I see a, see something? Like I, I cross my eyes in the middle? No. <laughs> No, that is, not a, that is not a thing. Okay, so a couple of things that are incorrect. First, wait, no, shit, fuck. There is tall grass here. Okay. And here. Uh-oh. And here. Ooh. Ooh. Second, there are trainers. <laughs> they are not this old guy. But there are several trainers located around. Uh, are they facing? Can you draw arrows? They're all facing to the right. Are yep, I'm. I, I I I I am going to draw arrows they're pointing to where they're going. And their range. Oh, you don't. You don't get to know their range. Why would you get to know their range? Yeah, you're right. I don't get to know their range. Come on now. That one's pointing that way. Okay. This one's pointing that way. Uh -huh. And this one's pointing uh, this way as well. Okay. Why is that so small? Whatever. Okay. 
Uh, so tall grass. Do I have any Pokeballs? I don't think I do, right? I just have my hazard ball. Correct. So I have no interest in the tall grass right now. I'm going to walk down the path. Oh, one other mechanical thing um, before we start. Now, it may seem like I did absolutely no work on this. But I did do a couple of things. Namely, I worked out part of the um, game mechanics that I hadn't fleshed out before. So do you have your notes up? Uh, yes. Hold on, I think I'm bleeding. Uh... <laughs> no, that's okay. I just scratched my ankle and it was like a bug bite. No, oh, okay. Hold on, I think I'm bleeding. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was. There was blood on my hand. That's valid. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> well, I got my video title at least. <laughs> Is there a nurse around? <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll only... No. <laughs> In game, you have no new knowledge. I think I have spoiled it for the users. Okay. Um, if the outfit wasn't an indication. All right. Um. So I got my notes up. What, okay. What What, what, what are you spitting? So you now. So there. You have a trainer level of one. Okay. Trainer level, not a trainer level. That's not. Yes, you have a trainer level of one. Okay. And you have a relationship level with your kinderling of one. Okay. So right now, you know that kinderling knows tackle and vine whip. Um, and bide, yeah? I'm sorry? It used bide last time. Oh, yes. And so on a scale of one to a hundred, it's like about a six. Is that correct still? Or Vine Whip, it's about a four. No, I meant the Kinderling. Oh, okay. Yeah. On a scale of one to a hundred, it was about a six. Yep. That was my clever way of yes. figuring things out. Okay. Uh, so, as you God. fight more and advance more with your Kinderling, you will get more, you will grow your relationship level and get more information. Um, so I'll tell you when you kind of get, um, Kindling EXP, mm -hmm. and I'll let you know when you level up with that. And as you go through the game, your trainer level will go up. What your trainer level basically does is gives you your default level for new Pokemon. It represents how okay. in tune with Pokemon you are, how experienced you are, how good you are at, at assessing them. Okay. Got it. So that's is that something that like I have to do stuff, or is that where as I just go through the game? You'll go. You'll go through the game, and as you like catch Pokemon, um, okay. and whatnot, I'll give you experience points. I'm not going to tell you what the break points are, but okay. um, just to keep it just to keep it interesting. But I'll let you know when you've gained experience with that. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. I don't. I imagine you wouldn't let me grind to level things up. So mm, that is correct. Yeah, and tra trainer points are going to be kind of like more checkpoints rather than like per battle, you know? Okay. And you said you had done stuff with the battle system too, right? Yep. So I figured out the battle system. I actually have like numbers now. Okay. Any other any other things before I charge full steam ahead? Uh, that should be it. All right. I'd like to charge full steam ahead. All righty. I'm just going to make it a little more clear where these two... People are. I like how I just made it less clear where these people are. Oh, I can make this bigger. I really should take like snap to grid off because the grid seems to be shitty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that actually works well. So yeah, so he's kind of like looking directly onto this path. This oh, guy's looking perfect. down. This person's kind of looking ahead. In the grass. Yeah. Like this far left guy. Okay. All right, full steam ahead. Let's go. Uh, oh, go and one, one other thing that's wrong about this picture. Okay. Uh -huh. I did. I was gonna do this, and then I forgot to do this, and then I didn't have time. Pretend you. It's imagination time. Pretend this picture has a gradient on it. Of like uh, sepia tone. 
Oh, okay. To, so, to represent the... Uh... Yeah. So the area right around here is still nice, right around where you are. But you can see it getting like kind of like withered and dying pretty rapidly as you go away from the town. The seek nuts. Okay. Okay. I am going to keep walking down the path. I guess I can see uh, these people. Yep. But I'm just going to walk down. I've got nothing better to do. Wee, wee, wee. Wait, actually, I have it. Uh, I don't have the trainer battle up, do I? Uh... <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... Wait, can I play stuff in Discord? Uh... I'm going to figure out if I can play music via Discord next time, because that would be sick. Yeah. Let's anyway. Oh. Whatever. Alrighty. So this guy comes up, lo you lock eyes with this guy. He walks up to you. Oh, hi there. Hi, my name is JNP Sheik. Hi there. My name is Ronaldo. I see you have a Pokeball there. It it looks mighty suspicious. Are you one of those team hazard gentlemen? I am not. Uh, I'd like to flash my Pokedex. Yep. Flash the Pokedex at him. He's like, oh, okay. You're, did you get did you get um, duped by those evil men too? I uh, I found this Pokeball in a machine on the beach. If you can believe that. Or Ah, those things are showing up everywhere. They're supposed to have healing properties. What, the machines? Uh, the Pokeballs. Well, that's what the, the Team Hazard bozos say. I don't know. I haven't seen my Rattata since I gave it to them. Hmm. Where, where is your... Where did you give them your Rattata? Um... Sisoa Town. Sisoa Town. Yeah, my, I brought my Pokemon to the Pokemon Center there. But, uh... Nurse wasn't able to do anything, so a gentleman from Team Plasma said, Hey, put your Pokemon in this Pokeball and we'll take it to our clinic. So a town. Mod Center. Take. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. I went, I'm on my way to Sasoa Town now. So <laughs> I'll. Good I'll, luck. I'll keep an eye out, and if I find your Rattata, what does your Rattata look like? Purple, big teeth. Does it have a nickname? Jeremy. Jeremy. Okay. I, I will look for your Rattata. You know they never I'll do. Get... They never do nickname the Pokemon, do they? No, you're the only one. Except for the people games. that you trade with, who give them really stupid names. Uh, Ducks is not a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> uh. Okay, I will look for I'll look for your ratata, ratata, and I will, I will do my best to find it if I find it. Cool. Do you have any other words of advice? Um, no, oh, just uh, uh, best of luck. Which way is Sasoa Town? Is it is it um, to the left or? Nope, just straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yep. So further left. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Out, out of character, that'd be further left? Yes, further left. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Ronaldo. Alrighty, have a good day. Okay. I'm going to walk in front of the next trainer. So you're going to turn to go up this path, or you're going to keep going? I'm going to turn to go up this path. I need that DXP. Oops. Damn it. I tried to play the sound again, but I didn't, like, set it from the start of the sound. Damn it, now it skips songs. Ugh! I'll figure the music out next time. And then we will have music so we can copyright infringe. Do it in post. <laughs> Do it in post. Come on now. You watch my YouTube videos. Do you know how lazy I am? <laughs> yeah, well, do it in post. <laughs> 
Anyway, this gentleman comes up to you and is like, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. It's a kid okay. wearing shorts. Hi, my name is JNPC. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. He gives you a nod of approval and then pulls out a Pokeball. Okay. Um, is Kindling following me or do I have to let him out? Of the ball? Kindling's following you. Okay. I'm you notice, uh, make, a, uh, make a perception check. Oh, you didn't bring my notes with me. Um, they're on the other map. Uh, perception is wisdom, yeah? I think that was plus two. Oh, shit, yeah. Um, I'm going to copy and try to copy it over. No, it's all right. I, I've got it with my iPad. I just wanted to uh, make it easier. 22. Oh, nice. You perceive the shit out of stuff. I am very perceptive. All right, I'm just gonna see if I can copy and paste it over since I can I can go to the rooms. Yeah, if not, I I can just type. Uh, do do. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I got my to do list. I can do it. <laughs> okay. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> um. So the perception check you passed. You notice that this person has a different Pokeball that you've never seen before. Okay. Um, I like to ask him about the Pokeball. Oh, um, you know what? He wants to fight. Let's fight. Yeah. You only catch a glimpse of it, but it looks pink. Okay. So I'm going to tell Kindling to go. Go, Kindling. Go, Kindling. He throws his um his Pokeball, and there's a, um, a zigzag zoom inside. I like to hold up my Pokedex. Say it again. I like to hold up my Pokedex. Zigzag Zoon. Oh, hang on. Let me actually pull up a Pokedex entry for Zigzag Zoon. <laughs> Did I cast this kid's name yet? Uh, he didn't say. Did he say? No, he didn't say. I don't think he did. I think he just wants to fight. He just wants to fight. He does like shorts. Zigzag Zoon is a raccoon-like quadruped Pokemon with bristly zigzag pattern fur. It is, it is abundantly curious as it wanders restlessly back and forth while rubbing its nose to the ground in search of something. Okay, I'm going to have Kindling use Bide. Kindling use Bide, okay. And uh, I'll actually, I'll actually, instead of just cheating this to be a dick to you, I'm actually going to roll to, like, do things. Uh-oh. Uh, that, that gives me less confidence, though. Okay, so you can't see my roll, right? Um, did you roll? Okay, good. You can't see my roll. Yeah. Okay. Um, zigzag zoom use scratch. Okay. Um, so you're going to write down damage numbers, but you don't necessarily know how much health, um, Kindling has currently. Okay. So I'm ready to write down damage numbers. Okay. You um, Kindling takes 10 damage. Jesus. One second. I gotta step away for a second. Yep. Right. 
Sorry about that. I'm back. Hello? I'm here. Hello? Hey there. I'm back. Cool. So Zigzag Zoom just scratched for 10 damage. Okay. Um, It's your turn. You are still biting. Yes. So I'm going to just wait. I'm going to uh, encourage kindling. You hang on. Um, Zigzag Zoon uses um, Scratch again. Scratches a Kindling, kind of, you know, dot, darting forward, doing a quick attack, and then, well, not quick attack, but doing a little scratch and jumping backwards. And this time for eight okay. damage. Okay. So Kindling's still looking okay. You know, not looking awful. Okay. Uh, that's been two turns, so is it going to be yep. using... So I'm just yeah. double-checking one thing. Okay. So, it's been two turns. You see Kinderling kind of, like, shake a little bit. And... The kind of vines rustle and then just blasts a blast of kind of like force comes out of Kinderling. Um, huh? what does Bide actually look like? Uh, it probably like unleashes energy or something. I'm pretty sure it's like just like an unleash of energy. Yeah. Yeah, you um... kind of just like it looks like the. Yeah, so you just kind of like let off. Um, so kin Kinderling lets off like a blast of energy, and it hits that zigzag zoom like direct hit. Okay, um, I, I take I take it to be like a like that Black Panther suit. Oh, Black Panther, Black Panther used by it. I like it. Yeah, I, I take it to be like that that kind of thing where it absorbs the damage and then it just releases it all. Yep. Uh, as a typeless, colorless, not typeless, not colorless, that's not the game, but a normal type attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it blasts Zigzag Zoon right in the face and Zigzag Zoon is like startled and like kind of wavering already. And okay. um, yeah, the, the rat catcher kid in the shorts is just like, what? Like, he looks stunned. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'd like to have Kindling uh, use Vine. Well, so that was that was your buy going off. Okay. I don't remember if that... Yeah, so that makes sense. Bye. Yeah. Yep. So, Zigzag Zoon just kind of, like, looks at you and just growls angrily. Okay. Now you're up. I'd like, I like to use... I'd like to have Kindling use... Um, Let's use tackle. Use tackle? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep let's keep on the damage. Alright. Um he l l lurches forward and kind of just like smacks zigzag zoon um right in the head, like a, uh, just like cocking heads, and zigzag zoon falls asleep. Knocked out. Okay. Just zips up back into the Pokeball. Okay. Wow. You're strong, mister. Thank you. What was your name? Oh. My name's... Damn it. Oh, so many names. <laughs> wow. This is so much more work. <laughs> My name's Steven. Steven. He likes shorts. He's a rat catcher? Mm-hmm. Um, out of character is that is that like a trainer type or is that like I make it's a it's a trainer type that I'm making up. Got it. Rat catcher. Thank you. What's uh, so your name, Steven? My name is Jay. Hi, Jay. What's what's that Pokeball you got there? Oh, this a nice guy with red hair gave it to me. Nice guy with red hair. My zigzag zoom was feeling sick, so I almost gave it to one of you guys. But Jace, uh, but um, the guy with the red hair said it would feel better if it stayed in here. Dave, is it out of character? Is that is that like a pink Pokeball, like just a regular Pokeball with a pink top? 
Uh, no, it looks entirely pink, and it has kind of like an oval-shaped um, button on the front. And it's not... It doesn't look metallic. It's kind of like a little bit misshapen. Um, it's out of character still. It's not, um, it's not like a heel ball, right? Because I think no. that's, that's the same kind of... It, it, it's pink and it heals Pokemon. Yeah, this is just kind of, a, a kind of a pastel pink, a little bit misshapen, and has like an oval-shaped white button. And it's non-metallic. Did what? Who's the red guy, guy with the red hair? That's up to you. Do you do you know your Pokemon lore? Did he? But did he get his name? Uh no. Okay. This kid is just saying, "Dude with the red hair." Dude with the red hair. I have. I have a couple. One of them. One of them makes sense. <laughs> but I don't know any of that. Okay. Um. Where did he get it? He got it from the red guy with the red hair. Where are you from, Stephen? Oh, I'm from Sasoa. Okay. I've been out here looking for Rattatas. Okay, he's from Sasoa. Sasoa town. Okay. I'll... Do you know anything about um, Ronaldo's Rattata? Rattata? Wait, say that again, Ronaldo's? Yeah, because he had his Radita taken by Team Hazard in Sasuke Yeah, I was going to try to catch catch him a new one. Oh, but okay. They seem to have been all gone. Okay. I'm gonna I'm going to look for him. Do you have any advice about Sasoa Town? Oh, Sasoa Town is is, pa is past Berry Grove, but it's gotten weird lately. How? What's weird about it? Uh, the Pokemon in there are a lot meaner, and all the and all the trees grew really big. Okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out. If I see any Rabbita, I'll I'll get you a Rabbita. Do you have Pokeballs that will actually make them not feel sick? I only have this Pokeball, and that's for Kindling. Oh, why don't you go talk to the red hair guy? Where can I find him? Oh, he, he walked up. The, um, he walked up this path after he said hi. Out of character, is that the path to the top? Yeah, that's the path to the top. Okay. Uh, do you have stuff ready for that? I do not have a map, but I have the encounter. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm I'm gonna go talk to that guy then. I'm gonna go. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh Have a Thank good day, you. Jay. Yes. Thank you, Stephen. It was nice meeting you. Uh, I am strict with the illness right now. I'd like to just walk around. Okay. Walk up, walk to the right. I know I'm going into the grass. Yeah, okay, you're gonna you're gonna walk to the right. I'm gonna walk to the right. Yes. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna walk to the right. I'm gonna look up. I don't think I can see me looking up, but I'm gonna look up. Are you looking up? I'm gonna look down. Are you look down. Hold on. Oh my God, die roller! Don't. Oh. Okay. okay. As you look up, nothing happens. Okay. As you look As down, look. nothing happens. I'm going to walk to the right. Okay. Nope. I'm going to walk down. I was going to walk up again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. Wild Pokemon battle? Yep. A zigzag zoom kind of half heartedly walks out of the tall grass and looks at you with like this like sad look in its eyes. I'm going to um like crouch down like you're supposed to when you talk to kids. Um it like, like scooches backwards away from you. I'm going to oh I don't have the coconuts anymore. I I'm just gonna hold out my hand and I'm gonna have Kindling also hold out like a vine. Not menacingly, just like kind of like a like come here. Kindle Kindling like looks at you 
doesn't seem to be quite in tune with what you're trying to do. Uh-oh. Ender? I'm just going to keep holding my hand out, like, down, like, like, hello, little guy, come here. Sigzai soon sniffs at it, and then, like, tenses up, and looks like it's about to run away. I like to scan it with my Pokédex. Question. Uh-huh. Is this the sort of thing where I, I can just keep scanning Pokémon, or do I have to keep... Do I have to... If I scan it once, I don't need to scan it again. Yeah, it is currently in your... In, it is currently in your Pokédex. I forget if that's from a game, if it's, like, something else where, like, you have to keep, like... Maybe I made this up, where you have to keep getting more information from... You know what? I'm, no, I'm I thinking mean... of something else. I think you're making it up, but B, as your trainer level increases, you'll get more information by default. I'm thinking of, do you ever play Endless Ocean? Oh, uh, no, how um, is it? On the Wii? I haven't either. I just watched, um, I think it was Zorak, uh -huh. the Let's Play of it. He's like a marine biologist. Oh, neat. But that's the kind of thing where, like, you have to, you get information from petting fish and, like, yeah. feeding fish. And you have to do it multiple times to get all the information. No, I think the, that's the, the, this is as you get advance your trainer level, I'll give you more information that will go into your Pokedex. And as you raise specific Pokemon, you'll get more information about those specific Pokemon. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to sit down on the ground and I'm going to hold both my hands. Zigzag Zoom kind of like goes up to your hands and kind of like nuzzles them a little bit. Okay. And then kind of like lets out a little cough and then starts walking back into the tall grass. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll let it go. Yep. I'm stricken with uh, an intense sadness all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, the Pokemon are, are not feeling too well. Oh, man. You need a cough and everything. <laughs> I'll walk down out of the grass. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go uh, to the, the top path. Tried real hard, though. Oh, I didn't want to fight it. I appreciate that. Well, you said it was, like, sad looking, so I'm like, oh, I don't want to beat this thing up. Where's the fun in that? So, it's time for your imagination. Are you ready for some good imagination? Imagination. Okay. Um, up ahead is um, kind of a clearing in the trees with a small hut. Okay. To the left of the hut is a strange looking tree. Make um, an intelligence roll. Nineteen. Some a word pops into your head. Apricorn. That is an apricorn tree. The hut apricorn tree. Can I see what kind of apricorns are on there, or do I? I don't know that much. Right? I just know what. Apricorns um, it's been is. it's been harvested. You can't tell. Okay. Okay, so to the left of it is an apricorn tree. Mm -hmm. Do I see anything else? Uh, nope. Just a little hut, the little apricorn tree, and it's in a nice little grove. <laughs> okay, I like to go knock on the door. You knock on the door, and you hear kind of slow, methodical footsteps, um, kind of like a tapping sound, and then the door opens, um, like a like a, um, a crack, and an old gentleman looks at you. He's not like that old. He's maybe like I don't know, mid sixties, so not like ancient, but he has a cane and like a small pair of glasses. Okay. Hi, my name is Jay NPG. Hello, Jay. I'm Kurt, the Pokeball Maker. Uh, should I roll for anything? Yep. Intelligence? Yep. Dang. Five. Yeah, the name doesn't ring a bell. All right, so I imagine I'm not... Hello? Hello? Okay. Yeah, you do not you know you do not recognize Kurt. Now is that is that a safe thing for me to assume if I don't If Wait. you if you roll less than ten, you probably didn't. 
that's what I mean. Like, Kurt, like I think in the game, like he's a well known. Yes, he he is quite well known. In camp in in Johto. Yep. So if I don't know him, that means I probably am not from Johto. Correct. Okay. Um, also, he does not have small glasses. I was misremembering. I guess I also don't remember that I'm not from Johto because I don't know who Kurt Kurt is. So. Okay. Right, you don't know where you have no clue where you're from right now. Out of character, I'm probably not from Johto. You're probably not from Johto. Okay. Um so I'm gonna explain I'm I'm on a mission for the professor and I'm trying to uh help the people in the area. Are you now? And how I'm did you get up. that Pokeball? I'm gonna hold up the Pokedex and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to explain that I found the. Po- I woke up on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the, explain uh, things. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Oh, I'm okay. going to hold up the Pokedex. That's why I changed. That's why I changed it up so it's at least something different. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. So you're helping the professor out and trying to work on that amnesia of yours, huh? Yeah, and I'm trying to find out about this team hazard. It doesn't sound like they're very good people. So. <laughs> no, they are not. So. Uh. How'd you know to come up here anyway? We're pretty out of the beaten path. I talked to Steven, and he said that I should go this way. He said a nice guy with red hair gave him a... Ah. Um, that would that could help heal Pokemon instead of the hazard ball. Hmm. Here. Come on in. Take a seat. Okay. Uh, question out of character. Do... Do I also remember that apricorns turn into Pokeballs, or do I just remember what apricorns are? Yes, you know that apricorns turn into Pokeballs. Okay. But you do not remember that Kurt is the one who does it. Okay, got it. Because you rolled hilariously. I also don't recognize that... Th- I don't think Kurt is this guy, right? Because he's got white hair. He's old, not uh, red hair. Yes, you do not think Kurt is the red-haired man because he is not the red-haired man. Okay. Uh, All right, so I'm going to go into the, the hut. Um, so inside there is it's just a very simple little hut and inside the living room there's like a wooden table with a, like um, four stools and um, in the corner there's what looks like kind of like a, um, a a dog bed but super plush and like really large and roll intelligence 22 nice um, even before your Pokedex starts chirping, you recognize that Pokemon as a Blissey. Wow. So there's a Blissey kind of on this little dog bed. It's kind of rolled over, snoozing contentedly. Okay. Uh, do I still need to scan it with the Pokedex? Uh, you already had your Pokedex out while talking to Oh, right, Kurt, yeah. I... And it kind of just went off automatically. Got it. So I'd like to... Uh, is it all right if I sit down? Yep. Kurt? Yeah, he just to the, cha- he gestures I, to the chair. Did I ask for his name? Oh yeah, he said he introduced himself as Kurt. Okay. Right, that's what triggered it. Yep. Okay, I'd like. Oh, okay, I'd like to sit down then. Hmm. Um, I'd also like to let uh, Kindling out. Oh, yeah, but Kindling, you never put Kindling back in the ball. So Kindling okay. kind of follows in behind you. Okay. Strange Pokemon you got there. Yeah, I found it in a Pokeball. Um, the professor didn't recognize it either. Hmm. He kind of like leans over. What's your name, little guy? Kindling! Kindling! Kindling, huh? Well, nice to meet you, Kindling. People these days just don't treat Pokemon right. It's a damn shame. Hmm. I ran into a zigzag goon. Couple uh, minutes ago, and it looked didn't look didn't look great. Yeah. Do you know anything about what's causing this? Uh, well, I, my friends and I are convinced that it's damn team hazard. They showed up too conveniently after the blight started. The blight. Blight's been hitting all of Paltro. You see outside, outside of Havala Town. Everything's just withering. Pokemon are getting sick. And wherever Team Hazard goes, things get worse. And sometimes weirder. Out of character, is uh, the Blight what it's called? Yeah, I'm just going to call it the Blight. Okay. 
It's like the mist. <laughs> I still haven't played through Legend of the Gaia at all. Yeah, I really need to like do a let's play of that. That'd be so much fun. You should do it. That was a fun game. Okay, um, so the blight. Um, what do you mean by weirder? Well, I don't travel much these days. But have you been to Berry Grove yet? No, I have not. That's my next step. As you might be able to tell from the name, it used to be just a nice little, nice little grove, some nice berry trees. Pokemon were peaceful. Would stay out of your way unless you, you know, antagonize them. But it's grown out of control. It's like all of the life in the nearby area went into there. The trees are towering. The berries burst before they're even ripe. They just grow too fast. Hmm. It's just strange. And That's... do you have allergies, kid? Should I roll for allergies? Uh, you don't remember if you have allergies, but out of character, you don't. Okay. I'd like to... I don't think I do. I also have only been awake and conscious for like about a day. I don't know. But you'll find out. There's so much pollen in the air. It's hard to breathe. Will it affect my kindling if I leave it out? Hard to say since I don't know this type of Pokemon. Definitely can make some grass types act a little odd though. Should I keep it in a ball? Might be might be safer. Say what you will about those team hazard creeps, but their their balls do tend to keep Pokemon safe. I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> um so is that the only one you have? Yeah, it's the only one I have. I don't know where else I could get Pokeballs. Steven said that there is a guy that gave him a pink. Do you know anyone with red hair? Ah, yep, yeah, that's my friend Alder. <sighs> oh, wait, he's good, right? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Yep. Me and, ostrich here, me and Ostrich here, and he gestures to the Blissey, figured out a way to make these Pokeballs that, well, they're not, I wish they worked better. They do keep a Pokemon healthy as long as you keep them inside most of the time. Alder's been giving them to, like, you know, the kids and the trainers around here whenever he can. You know, give them an alternative to turning over to Team Hazard. Hmm. So, he's out right now. He's taken most of my supply with me. But um, I have two left if you'd like them. Yes, please. Is there any way I can switch the hazard ball to this other Pokeball? Um, you can't... Um... Hmm. I don't think that's in the games. I think that, that became new at some point. Hmm. But, like... Uh, how about you ask Kurt? I'll ask Kurt. Is there any... Oh, I, I kind of was. Oh, okay, is there sorry. Any way that I that I can. Switch? He takes a look at he takes a look at the hazard ball. Honestly, I don't know the mechanisms of these. They're very well made, though. I didn't know there was someone else as talented out there as I am. I'd love to meet them someday. But I don't I don't think so. The they look like they bind to the Pokemon pretty tightly. Hmm. Okay, I'll I'll take the two. Uh, what are these Pokeballs called? I've just been calling them egg balls. Mm. Yeah, figured out a way to um, use the eggs that Blissey makes and craft them with pink apricorns. It's the, the healing powers of the, the Chansey line and it kind of mixes it into the Pokeball. Mm. What do pink apricorns look like? I, if I find more, can I bring them back here? Oh, that'd be great. Um, yeah. What the fuck does an apricorn look like? Cause it just look kind of like a weird acorn thing, right? Yeah, like it's like a... Also, I didn't realize this. I'm just becoming fetch, fetch, fetch quest, fetch quest right now. Right? I have to get four orange berries, I have to catch two ratatas, I have to get apricorns. Yep. Yeah, they're just like, like pink berries. Mm, okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're just like I mean, pink spherical berries. You know, kind of like Pokeballs. Okay. They'll look the same. How long have you been here in the Palcho region? I actually came here um, just a little bit before the Blight. 
Oh, man, I just needed a change of scene, but I've stayed here since to help people out. I have a hunch that my friend, my other friend, had a feeling that something was coming. They don't say a lot, though. Is this that Alder? No, it's another friend of mine. Um, They tend to keep to themselves a little bit. I'm sure you yeah. run into them at some point, though. You're they have, they have, they have, they have an eye for uh, knowing who to trust, and I think, I think you're one of those people. You're doing an awful lot of work to avoid saying who this is, so <laughs> I'm <laughs> not going to bother asking. <laughs> yeah, they so really, where... they're not the the chatty type. They don't like, they don't even want people to know that they're in this region. You have said enough, <laughs> I think. Um. Okay. Where? So where? Where did all? Where was Alder going? Um. I actually don't know. He just kind of wanders. He's not the most organized person. Hmm. I know he usually tries to cross through Yondello and then kind of walk around. Hmm. I don't think he's been to Shaowing in a while, so maybe he's over there. Could you repeat what that is? Shaowing. Spelling. S H A L W I N G. S H A L W. Uh, okay, I see. Okay, where where is Shaowing Town? Oh, Shaowing's probably the next town over after Sayosa, or Sisoa. Okay. Well, maybe I'll make my way there. Um, it can't hurt. I'd like to. Do I? Am I hungry? Uh. Yeah, you didn't really eat anything at Larch's, did you? I, I just realized I didn't eat anything. Oh, yeah, here, let me get you, let me get you some gruel. Okay, that's fine with me. That's something to eat. Mm -hmm. He brings out this delicious-smelling um, porridge um, that's flavored with, like, cinnamon and brown sugar. Mm. Here really you go. Taste eat up. like gruel. Tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. While I'm eating, I like to ask him. So, what does he think of the blight? What cause? Well, uh, you mentioned earlier you've met Grant, right? The nephew of the professor nearby. Yes. I was chatting with him, and he thinks Team Hazard caused it. I'm not so sure about that. I wouldn't even know how someone would do such a thing. I think they're just opportunist rats like all the other teams. Where did it start showing up? Everywhere. As far as we know, as far as I know at least, there's no particular, you know, starting point. It's just like the whole region started getting sicker. Hmm. Okay. Um, what else can I ask him? So how do you turn Edcorns into Pokemon? Uh, now that's my secret. I can't go away telling everything, can I? Can you turn any apricorn into Pokeballs? Just about. And I'm practicing new methods of um, mixing them together, combining them with some of the you know natural things Pokemon's produce for us. Hmm. So if you find any, you know, feel free to bring them over. I'll be happy to try to make you some Pokeballs. I'll have okay. to warn you, um, unless there are these egg balls. For the time being, they're not going to do much. Has there been anyone trying to clean up the blight? We just don't know where it's coming from. It's not like fungus or you know a virus we can treat. Everything just seems sicker. Hmm. Like, a, like the like the the world itself is fatigued, and it's happening to the environment and it's happening to Pokemon, but it's not happening to humans. I'm sorry. Could you repeat? We cut out a little bit. It's happening to the environment, clearly, and it's happening to Pokemon, but it's not affecting humans yet. And it's not, it's not affecting... I got a lot of notes now. Havala Town, either. Do you have any thoughts on why that... Well, Havala Town's supposed to be lucky, you know? Mm -hmm. it, said, it said that it has some kind of guardian watching it, so... Hmm. There are a lot of Pokemon that seem to be resistant to the blight, you know? Ostrich over here seems completely fine. And I'm sure some of the, the other Pokemon associated with healing are probably weathering it better than others. Mm. 
Hold on. Okay. How does it affect Pokemon other than making them sick? Does it change them? Gives them a cough. Um, it seems that if you're trying to rate a Pokemon strength out of 100, it definitely seems to lower their overall strength. Sometimes it's even made um, evolved Pokemon de-evolve. Is it contagious? It's difficult to say because it's happening everywhere at once. It's not like, you know, you introduce a sick Pokemon to healthy Pokemon, it's suddenly they all fell sick. Hmm. But it's, uh... At first, people try to quarantine, you know, cordon off cities, but when it's happening everywhere at once, soon the quarantines are just taken down. Didn't seem useful. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll get keep going then. Already, yeah. Oh. Feel free to bring me any apricorns you find. And if you Can do see you? Elder around, um, tell him I say hi. You can't miss him. Giant, bushy red red hair with yellow highlights. Can I? If I have, excuse me, I was just eating beef jerky. Um, nice. Or I was eating gruel. <laughs> um, so if I catch a Pokemon with these egg balls, mm -hmm. will that heal them, or will they still be kind of sick? Um, give it like a couple, a day or two, but yep, it'll heal them right up, and they'll start being able to, you know, get stronger again, just like before. Okay. You won't oh, be able to have them walking about though. Okay. When do you think you'll have more pink apricots? Is, I know it's the apricot tree. Is that a pink apricot? Mm-hmm. They tend to grow about one per day. Okay. So if you come back here in a day or two, I should have one made. Okay. I'll definitely be back. Yeah, okay. Good Thank luck you. getting through Berry Grove. Thank you for your help, Kurt. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to walk away from Kurt. I'm going to thank him. I'm going to leave. Uh, so you head out? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'd like to go walk in the grass again. See if I can see that zigzagoon again. You're going to walk in the same grass? Yes, on purpose this time. And remember, you have two egg balls. Yes. Now, out of character, is it the same as regular Pokemon where I have to weaken Pokemon? Or is this a Pokemon Go rule? It depends. Okay. So you're just kind of wandering until you find one? Yes. Okay, I'm not going to make you wander that long. Wow. <laughs> Both times you rolled a nat 20 on the find the Pokemon rule. Nice. So yeah, you actually see a zigzag zoom and it walks up to you. It seems to recognize you. Is that the same one? Yeah, you're pretty sure it's the same one as before. Okay, I'm going to get down on the ground again, and I'm mm -hmm. going to hold out the uh, egg ball, one egg ball. Kind of walks up to it cautiously and gives it a little sniff, and then it boops the little button with its nose, and like a flash of pink light, it gets sucked into the egg ball. Okay. I'm going to wait. It vibrates in your hand a little bit and then goes still. And has a nice little satisfying click. Cool. Do I get any more information from, um, from catching this thing? Nope, not yet. But you are level one with your zigzag zoom, and you can give it a nickname. Ziggy. Cool. Ziggy. So, do you want to give your kinderling a nickname? No, I'm going to keep it as a kindling. Ooh. Yeah, at the time that you got it, you didn't really have a sense of Pokemon nicknames. Yeah. And, and it was clearly it, bound to someone else, or bound to the ball already. Mm. Right. And Pokemon names work in mysterious ways. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just picturing it, um, its name as kindling, but in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> it evolves to its final form, and it's still kindling. <laughs> okay, so I've caught a zigzagoon. Yep. So I've only got one ball. I'm going to walk out of the grass, and I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to walk down to the bottom grass. Okay. Are you going to walk in the bottom grass? Yes. I'm 
I'm just gonna walk until I catch something or find something. To Jesus, catch. you got a third twenty. That's ridiculous. Awesome. I'm just good at catching the Pokemon. So technically speaking, I have them assigned to numbers, but I really don't want to give you another zigzag zoom. Or should I just give you a zigzag zoom and make you keep on going? Is it sick? Because I'll catch it too. So. I mean, they're all gonna be sick. I want to give. I want to give you some variety. Yeah. So let me. I'm gonna do a little fudging. Out of character, I I do want to try to help as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So I will absolutely try to catch every Pokemon. That is a good plan. I want you to have a variety of Pokemon because it's Pokemon, but yeah. I also appreciate you trying to help them, and there will be ways for you to help them in the near future. Okay. I promise. You and I, you and I know what I am. Yes. I've tried to figure out what I am, but... Mm -hmm. Trust me, I... Sense. Soon, TM, you will have a way to help Pokemon, and you will figure out who you are. I imagine once I get to a town where there's a place that I can... You, I imagine. Your, your intuition does seem somewhat logical. That seems like it would be a, a very... Uh, not, what's the bonus? Uh, circumstantial bonus. Um, anyway. Situational. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, so I've run into a Pokemon. Yep. There is a Spearow kind of sitting on the, um, sleeping on the ground, curled up in the dust. Is it uh, sleeping on the ground? It does it look like it's sick? Well, it's a bird that's lying on its side on the ground in dust. Oh no! Um, can I sneak over to it? Okay, make a dexterity roll. What's my dexterity? I've covered up my... Uh, 14? Alright, you managed to sneak up pretty close to it. It doesn't notice... It doesn't wake up. Um, can I make a amnesia check? Do I remember that I could also throw balls at Pokemon? Uh, roll for it. Intelligence? Yep. 13? Yeah, you, you remember that... Um, you can throw a Pokeball at a weakened Pokemon to try to catch it. Okay, because to date, I don't think I've seen anyone do that. I've seen people throw them to, mm -hmm. to let them out. Okay, so I'm going to throw the Pokeball at the Spearow. Okay, roll a d20 with advantage. Uh, two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I had you roll with advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Pokeball hits the Spearow um, and bounces in the air and it flashes a pink light. The Spearow gets sucked in. The ball shakes once, twice, three times, and then clicks. You've caught a Spearow. Sure. One second. So I've caught a Spearow. Not a sparrow. I had zero. <laughs> Level one relationship. Uh, let's see. What should I nickname this one? Uh, <laughs> Oh. Again, I'm gonna nickname it. Ugh, I I don't know why I googled it. I, I trade for a Spearow in the games, right? I know you trade for a far fetched in the games. I don't know if you trade maybe, for a Spearow. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. You trade a Spearow for the far fetched. I'm gonna name him. You know what? I'm gonna name him Ducks. D U X. Nice. Okay. Yep. Um, so I've caught him. Do I get any information on him just by having him? Uh, yeah. By the way, I am going to write custom blurbs for almost every Pokemon. Oh, Lord. Like, That's a lot. Yeah, but it's going to be as, as I plan for you to find them. Again, I did not prepare for this. I have had a month. Yeah. Um, I've actually been kind of sick all month, so I'm getting a little bit better. Yeah, and it's holiday time, too. So. Yeah. Spearow is an avian Pokemon that is very small. It has rough brown plumage on its hair and three brown feathers. 
It's inept at other aspects of flying, such as height and distance, but it's still pretty good at protecting its territory, and they tend to be a bit on the aggressive side. They are more solitary than other, Poke other bird Pokemon of a similar size. Okay, so I've got no more balls. I'm going to go back to the professor's uh, house. Okay. I remember... You don't have to change anything. I, I, I remember that he's got that healing machine. Yep. So I like to heal these Pokemon in there. Okay. Uh, I do remember that Kurt said that it takes about a day for them to start to get better, but I would like to just put them in the machine if it helps. Makes sense. Yep, you walk over to the professors. I say hello to uh, James as I walk by. Gives you a curt nod. Okay, I go to the professors. All right, you're at the. Oop. You're at the professors. Okay, I'd like to look inside. Knock on the door. Uh, you peek inside. He is like at his desk, scribbling something madly. And then you see that the box, the strange box, is on his desk. Um, and he occasionally like peers at it and then scribbles some more. Okay, I like to knock on the door. Enter. Uh, you knock on the door, but he doesn't seem to notice. Okay, I'm gonna enter. Then I'm gonna get close enough that I won't startle him, but I'm gonna knock and say hello, professor. Oh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, put it on the table. Excuse me? Yeah, just put it... Oh, hi, Jay. I thought you were someone else. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. I, I caught these two Pokemon. I met Kurt. Kurt? Um, the apricorn maker? Yeah, yeah. Well, he makes Pokeballs from ape. Oh, right, 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 right. Ah, that's yeah, a good baby. gentleman, good gentleman. He stopped by here uh, either a couple of days, a month, maybe a year ago, I don't know. Yeah, he gave me two of these uh, egg balls. I'd like to... Oh, hello? Hello? Okay, cool, yeah, you cut out again briefly. That's weird. Yep, yeah, you're back. Oh, yeah, I'll just uh, toss them in the, the machine there. He kind of gestures a... over to what looks like... um. You know, kind of your your standard Pokemon um, healing array with uh, six spots for Pokeballs. Is there anything I have to do to to use it? No, I toss them in and hit the button. Out of character. Is that all that we? No, I was about to put... <laughs> hit the button. <laughs> I was I was about to explain that. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna put the po I'm gonna put all three of my Pokeballs in, and I'm gonna hit the button. Ding 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 ding. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine who's a nurse in Siosa, um, you know, she was, I, got, I kept on bringing my Pokemon over the, all the way through the berry grove back in the day, and uh, she whipped this up for me to make it like an easier version. Ah, uh, okay, that sounds yeah. great. Um, they're pretty expensive normally, but t t typically they, um, they give them to the professors in various areas to help us with our research. Mm. Speaking of research, were you able to find any box? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I had a breakthrough with the box. Um, so, he's like, I'm actually about to try it for the first time. Do you want to give me a hand? Yes. Um, so he holds out this, like, screwdriver-looking thing. And he's like, okay. I'm going to try to use this charged screwdriver to open the box. If I fall unconscious or lay on fire, go to Carol. She'll know what to do. She puts Will... me out on. Um, she puts me, like helps me back up on a regular basis. Is there is there a like a safe word or something I need to use? Oh because no, uh, nice just if me. I stop breathing. But I mean, she's not nice to me still. So. Oh, just say Larch is on fire again, or Larch is dead. She'll respond. Okay. okay. So, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I am ready. One, two, three. He jams the screwdriver in and pushes a button on it. There's like um, it shakes in his hand, and the box just springs apart, it falls to little pieces. Oh, I guess it wasn't made of wood then. Nope. Oh, was it? I was just expecting it to open. 
was it electricity or was it sonic yeah. perhaps or um yeah it looks like there's wiring inside the box it looks fairly high tech that's a doctor who joke for for those oh who god damn it i am missing all of your references today huh <laughs> i'm not very uh i'm a little too subtle with something yeah you got a, you got a nice dry delivery i like it yeah so yeah so the box sprung apart is there yep. are there more pokeballs inside no nope, there are no more pokeballs Oh no. Um, out of character, were there supposed to be Pokeballs in Yes, there were at some point three Pokeballs in that box at some point in the past. Okay, and then I guess I got the last one. Yep. Okay. Just making sure I didn't kill anything. Yep, and you know and you know that Grant has one, you do not you have not heard anything about the third one. I don't know who has the red one. Pardon? I don't know that I don't know who has the red I also don't know that there is one. So yep. You don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Sorry. No problem. Um, and so most of the box fell apart, but you notice that there's kind of what looks like the bottom of the box looks like a kind of a rectangular shell, like drawer mm -hmm. that's cracked open, almost like a secret panel in the bottom of the box. Hmm. I'm going to properly ground myself and then try to panel. Yeah, you, you, you shimmy it a little bit and try to open it up, but it seems pretty stuck. Um, Larch comes up to you with a, a large hammer and is like, here. It's dangerous to try alone. Take this. <laughs> I smack it with a hammer. Okay, make a strength check. Uh, eight. It clanks off um, but do and makes a small dent, but doesn't open. Let's try again. Okay, roll again. This time you this time you get you get a decent like chunk off. Like a uh, chip off the corner. I like to look inside. Can I see anything? You peer inside and you see a small um like a little glint of something shining. Hey Professor Larch, what do you what do you think that is? Hmm, it appears to be shiny. He smiles at you proudly. <laughs> Where did you get your PhD from? Pokemon school. Where exactly is that? I mean, there's 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 academies all over the place. Huh. You know the ones at the bookshelves that teach you about type differences. I see. And status effects. Exactly, and how to use items. I'm. Am I familiar? I guess I wouldn't be familiar. It it, it it rings a bell, you know. It's one of those like foundational childhood kind of memory things. Yeah, I gathered. Okay, um, I'd like to use. I like to use kindling to try to open it. Like I want him to use his vine whip to like pry it open. You kind of, um, roll wisdom. Twelve. Yeah, you successfully gesture to Kenderling and get the, get your get your point across. Getting progressively better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and give yourself um ten experience with Kenderling. Mm. Okay. Okay. Between you and Kenderling, you manage to pry open the box. Um, inside it's like velvet lining with like an indentation in it, and there is what looks like um a gemstone inside. Hmm. It's kind of pu it's like um pure crystal, and as it catches the light, it seems to like shimmer iridescently. I like to roll to see if I have gloves. Uh, you do not you do not have gloves. I'm gonna ask the professor for gloves. Uh, before you, before you even have a chance, he's already picked it up and is examining it closely. Like, oh, it's so shiny. This is very neat. Mm. Make a perception check. Wisdom. Eighteen. You notice Kinderling staring at it intensely, and like the um, the little vines almost reaching for it. 
Do you know what that is, Professor? I have no idea. I've never seen one before in my life. I, I mean, like to roll. Do, do I know what it is? Clearly, it's a crystal. But yeah, roll intelligence. Eighteen. Like you know that stones. There are some stones that affect Pokemon. Um, like to cause them to evolve. But this isn't an evolutionary stone that you recognize. Hmm. Who I'm gonna ask Professor then. Um do you know anyone that might recognize what this is? Uh, I mean, I think it's an evolutionary stone. Hold on. Do you remember which professor is the evolution one? I think it's uh Elm. You both frantically search. Is the eggs? Uh, Professor Rowan of Sinnoh. No. Professor, excuse me, Bulbapedia. Professor Elm is the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. Really? What, what, what's the other one? Professor... No, says, I'm looking at Bulbapedia. Professor Elm of Johto, who studies breeding, and Professor Rowan of Sinnoh, who studies evolution. What is this? Bulbapedia, get your act together. <clears throat> Yeah, make up your mind, Bulbapedia. Which Professor, is it? Professor Elm studies unusual Pokemon abilities. He also specializes in Pokemon breeding and is credited with the discovery of Pokemon egg. Wait, why does he get also, to be the best at breeding and the best at evolution? Also, according to Professor Oak in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, Professor Elm is the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. Get, get your mind up together. Wow, that's some shade of Professor Rowan. Like, Professor Rowan is the research specialization in Pokemon evolution, and he's not even the best at it. Professor Elm, more like Professor Marty Stu. Yeah, and Elm is oh, how doesn't give an age for Elm, but like Rowan is sixty. Like, damn, Rowan, you're out of you're out of your league, buddy. You professor retire. Elm looks like your Professor Large, but like you got a haircut. Yep, that's who I based it off of. Got it, Professor. You know, let's go with Professor Rowan. I don't like Professor. My name's Professor Elm, and I'm the best at him. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, I would talk. I mean, Professor Rowan and Seno. Is an expert on Pokemon evolution. I, like I can roll. send him a I can send him a message by mail. Um, if I recognize any of those things. Oh uh, yeah, go for it. Eighteen. But he's saying words that make sense. You know that Sinnoh is a place. You know that Rowan is a professor. These things are these things are lighting up little bells. Okay. But the professor kind of just like rambles to himself. Yeah, no, Rowan might know. Elm might know. But Elm's a, Elm's a, Elm's a jerk. He always looks down on me. <laughs> But Roman always responds to my mail very kindly. Okay. He kind of pulls out a piece of paper and, like, writes on it and then hands it to you. It's like, here, give this to one of your Pokemon, and then you can trade them at a Pokemon Center to send Rowan a mail. Um, okay. Will or I, get I guess I can back? just email him. That yeah, works, too. Be he goes up to his keyboard and starts emailing Professor Rowan. <laughs> That would be much preferred. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting on that joke for so long. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Like, um, it's so silly. There's, I think it's in gold where you can't, you have to do that. You have to like, you can give your Pokemon a mail, mm -hmm. and when you deliver the mail to the right person, like it takes your Pokemon. Yep. Like it, it, it's supposed to come with like a Spiro or something, but then when you give it to the the person, it takes whoever's holding the mail. Yep, I remember that. No, no, no bueno. Or you can just take the Spiro. Yeah, but then it's like, uh, then you're just kind of a dick. Yeah. Yeah. E email him, please. Okay, will do. Uh, I'll let you know when um he responds. Just stop back um you know, whenever you get a chance. Um, kind Kinderling is still like staring at it and like slowly reaching a vine to touch it. I'm going to. I'd like to hold on to the stone. But, but, but I can study it. I'll leave him the stone. Then. His his face, like, loosens in relief. He looked really nervous that you're going to take something shiny from him. Okay. I promise I'll do very good research on it. And his eyes kind of dart towards the hammer briefly. Okay. Um. 
I like to relay everything that I found, I learned to the professor, everything about like oh. the Berry Grove and all this stuff. Oh, so Berry Grove is over is overgrown and egg balls and Kurt's still around. Oh, I'm glad Kurt's still around. That's good at news at least. What do you make of it, Professor? It sounds bad. Doesn't sound great. No, definitely sounds bad. I think I think you should try to fix it if you you know have time. If I if I, I have time. He seems seems kind of confused as why you're asking him these important questions. What what do you think I should do? Uh, well, this all seems bad, and if you find out more, let me know. But I'm just gonna go back to my research. Okay, I guess you're gonna research the stone now that you've. Uh... Oh yes, it's so pretty. Okay, please don't break it. Kinderling's tempt. Oh, uh, Kinderling's like, um, vine finally pokes the stone. Uh oh. And um, Kinderling lets out like a little bling. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to uh, zip up and get Kindling in the Pokeball. Mm-hmm. It kind of squawks and protests, but it goes back in the ball. Okay, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave. Okay. I'm going to, and I'm going to make my way towards back to that area. Cool. The like in between route. Is there a route number for it? Or uh, is it, it is it? route one. Route one. Got it. I didn't like that in like uh, Pokemon games where, like in Gold and Silver, it's like you start out like Route Twenty Two or something like that. I mean, I guess they're trying to keep it like with Silver or Gold Silver. It makes sense because you eventually go like between the two regions. Yeah, it made sense at that point, but then, like, I think I think the same thing in uh, Emerald and like Ruby and Sapphire. It's like weird. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Or like how like the Pokedex numbers are different per region, but then you have the like the national Pokedex. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to go uh Ooh, excuse me. I'd like to go talk to that last uh person, last trainer. Okay. <laughs> the last trainer is um Dressed entirely in red, with um, a big red hat. Okay. Wait, there was a game called Pokemon Ranger. I was just trying yeah. to look up the the Ranger type. Yeah, that's uh, like one where you have to like draw. Oh, weird. I got it. Like, if I wanted to catch the Pokemon around or something. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's so... kind of kind of weird. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's um, a, um, someone in like red boots, um, a red vest, and like a red baseball cap, standing by the entrance. Okay. I'd like to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Jay. Hello, Jay. What is your name? I'm Ranger Kara. With a C or with a K? Uh, C. C A R A. Yep. Okay. Um. What's beyond this fence? Ugh. Well, it used to be Berry Grove, but I don't know. It's just become so overgrown. I haven't been able to make it through without my Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh, I used to have um, a Pidgey um, and a Sawaddle, but they both fell sick, so I gave them over to Team Hazard for uh, you know safekeeping. They set up they were setting up some um some like clinic um next to the grove last time I was in there before it got all overgrown. I've lost you, I think. Oh, can you hear me now? Hello? Marco. Hello. Marco. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. All right, yeah, I just looked at Discord and there was like a little uh, the there's a uh, a lag spike, but it looks like we're okay now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she. Has... So she had a um a pidgey and a sawaddle, um and she gave them over to Team Hazard, 
once they fell sick at a clinic they had um, next to the grove. Okay. But shortly after the grove got overgrown and she hasn't been able to make it through. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, okay, so I'm talking to Kara. I'm going to try to make it through the grove and if I get through, I'll pick up your Pokemon. Oh, will you? Oh, that'd be so nice. I've been worried sick about them. I've been waiting here to see if, you know, anyone from Team Hazard would walk through again, but uh, so far, nothing. Okay, well, I'll try to find your Pokemon. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Their names are okay. Flappy Bird um, and Cabbage Roll. Flappy Bird, Cabbage Fetch Quest. All the fetch quests. You were like lining up for these fetch quests, so you were like begging I, for some fetch quests. I am just, I am just nice. I am, I am a kind, a kind of person. I mm -hmm. Do no harm, you would say. Oh, by the way, I see you have a Pokedex at your hip. Yes, I'm helping the uh, Professor Larch. Oh, that's very nice of you. Listen, I'm, I'm from these parts. Um, would you like me to give you a little, a little upgrade to your Pokedex? Yes, I'm. I'm a little bit incredulous because the Pokemon Ranger can upgrade my Pokedex that the Professor gave. Mm -hmm. She takes out just this. She has this like, um, like she like reach like holds out a hand for it. Uh huh. And then she reaches into her pocket and pulls out a notebook. And in your Pokedex, um, she starts like, like kind of typing in it and like referring to her notebook, and then typing in it some more. Um, and she's like, there you go. Um, I've added information about um, this little, about Route 1 to your Pokedex. Like, about what Pokemon are expected to be here. Hmm. I know it's obviously out of date, since, you know, most of the Pokemon have left. But if it ever gets better, this way you'll have some information about it. I'd like to see what Pokemon would be in here. Yeah, uh, just give me one second to pull up the list. Sure. I know there's supposed to be speed. Yep. Now that I'm out of Pokeballs, I expect you know, say Dratini. <laughs> yeah, Giratina. Yeah. You know the usual. Okay, so the Pokemon that are expected to be in this area are um Spiro. Okay. Starly. Damn it. Zigzag nice. Zoom. I like Starly much better than Spiro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zigzag Zoom. Okay. Um, what do we call it? Radita, right? Because they're. Yep, Radita. Sorry, my notes are all over the place. Radita. Um. Oh, what the fuck's it called? I didn't. I didn't write this down, but I, I'm changing my mind on it. Idiot. The the baby form of Chansey. Uh, Happini. Happini. Yep. Okay. So Radita, Zigzag, Zoon, Starly, Spiro, Happini, and uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. why am I blanking so hard? What is it? No, there's, there's one more, and I'm like, I had this in my head, and then I didn't write it down. Oh, and uh, Carablast. Oh, that's different. Okay. Um, question. Mm -hmm. Now, is this the sort of thing where, if I am in area, I'm I'm picturing like a Genesis kind of. Oh, you're you're breaking question. up again. <clears throat> so I'm picturing like a Genesis tree kind of like healing type thing. Okay. If if I'm able to clear an area, is that when like, you know, like the Carablast, Capini and stuff like that will start showing up or Um or there could... will there will be way up oh, hang on, it's disconnected again. You are super robot right now. Yeah, hold Hello. on one second. Hey, can you hear me now? Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, yep. Can you hear me now? Yep. Can you hear me? 
Uh, I can hear you, but it looks like my ping is really high. Um, let me leave. let me try. Hello. Hello. All right, that's better. Okay. Um. Oh, so... Yes, there will be something you can do to make this area healthier. Okay, and then when it's healthier, then like the other stuff will start showing up. That's correct. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna thank Kara for upgrading my Pokédex. Oh, you're quite welcome. And I'm sure there's other rangers around who will be able to give you, you know, historical knowledge about different places. So be okay. sure to always That'll... talk to us. We're happy to help. That'll be great. I'm gonna thank her. I don't have anything to give her, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go onward to Berry Grove. Cool. Uh, okay, so we've been recording for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna stop? Um, it's up to you. So obviously this next area is going to be a lot more involved. It's kind of you know, your first dungeon. Do you um, need more prep time? So I can either give you more I can either do it with more prep time or I can aggressively wing it. Let's do more prep time. Are you sure? Because I'm happy to aggressively wing it. Nah, I feel like this will be something that will take up a whole episode, too. Um, Like going through the berry, whatever. Berry curve, yeah. It, it, will, it, it, it will take a while. Basically, yeah, I, unless you want to play for another hour and a half, I would wait. An hour and a half is a good size. Yeah, so you don't want to play till 11? <laughs> nah, let's, let's, let's wait. Yeah, and I, should, I need to wrap my presents, uh, my parents' uh, Christmas presents yeah. anyway. Yeah, you all right, let's end the let's end the video here, and then. Uh, yeah, I got I got questions for you. If you want to start wrapping up the recording afterwards, I'll ask you. Oh, if you have uh, other questions about the game. No, 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 other questions. All right, planning questions, cool. Um, so do you have any other game related questions or any other feedback? Uh, I am about to go into the Berry Grove. I've got three Pokemon, two of which I'm gonna prefer not to use because they're they're still kind of sick. I'm hoping for a solo Kindling run through the Berry Grove. <laughs> that laugh doesn't instill me with confidence. I'll I will I, I, I will say, they're going to heal pretty quick. But Kurt, mm -hmm. so as long as you as long as you don't strain them, it should be okay. fine. Well, I mean, I, I put them in the balls, and then I healed them in the machine. Yeah, the machine I'm, definitely I'm, sped up the process a lot. I'm going to prefer not to use them, but I'll okay. use them if I need to. Um, I don't have any items. I only got pocket sand. Um, I've met Kurt. I found that shiny blue rock. Yeah, no, I think I'm... It's a shiny clear rock. It's like iridescent. Shiny clear rock. I think we're... Next time, I think we're good to go. Let's tackle on the berry. I've got a goal now. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. what I want to do. Um, yeah, I think we can we can wait till next time. Very cool. All right. Well, until next time, uh, double bite out. Bye.